Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Cosby video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to be using Blender. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Blender, creating realistic profiles. So let's get straight into it. First, what you're going to want to do is, of course, open up Blender. And now that you've opened up Blender, I'm going to tell you how to create, how to add your name. So first, it's going to say name. Also, if you don't like the background, just go up here to this little button and change it so that it's like this. And then you're going to, and um, if you want to move around, you can use this thing up here. Or if you want to use your mouse, hold your scroll button and then use your scroll button to just move, and then just use your mouse to move around. Hold the scroll button down and then move your mouse to move around. And okay, so change your name. You're gonna highlight, so make sure it's highlighted. And then go here to edit mode. And then just delete what you want. This put this is the easiest part. You shouldn't um, be stuck on this part. In fact, unless you're extremely new, you should already know how to put your name. But I'm just here to help. So, so you got highlight the fur. So make sure it's highlighted. The fur is highlighted. And then go here to the side and click on material. Then go to primary color. And then you can, you have an RGB reel, whatever. And you can change it to like, I'm just going to go with the blue because blue is my favorite color. Like that's kind of like my color code. So I'm going to do that. And um, next up, what you want to do. Okay, next up, you actually want to move the character. I know you guys want to probably do the cosmetic and the faces, but that's the fun part for later. Okay, so to move the character, click on the wheel, like this little spinny thing around. Make sure that's highlighted. And then go to where it says object mode and change it to pose mode. Make sure this part is on pose mode. And then go to here. Make sure this is open because you're going to need this for later. And then go over here to this side where it says Gorilla Rig. Go down and look for hand control right or hand control left. Whatever you want to do. So for example, I'm going to do the right. And then, so now, but here you can move them now. But they're moving together. So if you don't want them to move together, you can like pick it. So I'll put it like that. If you don't want them to move together, you're going to want to... um see this little x up here you're going to want to press on that and make sure it's gray if you want them to move together make sure it's blue if you don't want them make sure it's gray and then then you can move whatever you want one arm together so for example i'm just gonna so you can move it this way whatever i'm gonna move it to up here it looks ugly right now but go to the rotate and remember, you can just play around with it depending on however you want it. So I'm just going to kind of make it wave. It's kind of in a wave motion. But does that kind of look good, guys? That doesn't look good, right? So you want to go ahead, click on select box. And then you want to, oh, you want to click on select box. Click on, go back here if it wasn't already highlighted. And then go here and move it back. So, yeah. Now you can move it up, and now you just kind of got it waving at the camera. So, and if it ever gets dehighlighted, just go back here and press right control or whatever. Because like, if you know, if you play girl tag, then you know it's like, it's not really your hand; it's your controller because your hand isn't real or whatever. It's controller, whatever. Um, it's really easy. And next up, I'm gonna show you how to put the cosmetics on. Okay, first up, make sure you, I, ju I just switched it, but make sure you go from post mode to object mode. So go back to object mode, and you can just hide that for now if you want it to. And now, we're going to go up with the cosmetics. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to do the cosmetics. Now, go to the links in the description until you find the link that says Gorilla Cosmetics or Gorilla Tag Cosmetics, whatever. And it's going to bring you to this page right here it's going to bring you to a drive folder and um, i didn't make this by the way this was uh somebody else that made this um 
I did not have the time to put this all together, but, um, yeah, somebody else made this. I don't really know who, but I got, so, in, we're just gonna do one cosmetics, because all the cosmetics are the same, depending on what you want, they're all the same. So, like, if you want a badge, you want a holdable, it's all the same to put it on. It's just, you gotta drag it to different places. Pretty much just, like, the arm. Let me download them. So now it's downloading. It's just scanning for viruses because it wants to make sure it's not a virus. Obviously, it's not a virus. I can guarantee you that. And you see the folder says FBX. That's going to be important for later. So once you open back up into Blender, press File, Input, and then go to FBX because that's the file type. And then, honestly, this kind of reminds me of Apple, like on a MacBook. But, like, it's just the Blender files. Um, on Windows, this is actually how it looks like. So, don't be confused by that. They didn't install MacBook software or whatever on your device. I'm, I'm telling you that. So, click on 2022 Glasses FBX. It's super important that you do have the FBX file. And now it's going to probably come sideways, and it's going to come in purple. You, I, I'll change, I'll tell you how to change it to yellow. They all come in purple. Like, all the cosmetics come in purple. I don't know why. Don't know why it has to be purple. Um, then go here, and go back. I'm just gonna bring this out so you can see the text. It makes it easier for you guys. And then go here. I am talking way too much, guys. Um, once I edit this, I'm probably gonna edit a lot of my blabber out. That's not necessary. Okay, so then you're going to want to go like this. It's just like Roblox Studio, guys. Just like Roblox Studio, but it's not for babies. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so then you... Oh, these glasses do not want to go on. Is that good, guys? Are we good? And then you're just going to want to attach the glasses. And I think that is good. There we go. So now you have your glasses, uh... This is not the best looking cosmetic. Yeah, they are not measuring with the eyes. Like, it's supposed to be like that, right? Okay, there we go. And then you're going to want to change the color of it. So, highlight it, and then go to 2023 glasses. Go down here, click on surface. Not surface, click on base color, and go to... Click on base color. So make sure you're highlighted on 2022 glasses, whatever your cosmetic is. Go to base color, RGB, and then you'll have the RGB wheel. So you can just change it to yellow if that is your color of your cosmetic. Okay, yeah, that made it a lot better. So it's more of a gold color, I guess, this cosmetic is. Yeah, we would know that, right? Actually, it's more orange, to be honest. Okay, and there we go. We have our character. Um, you know, I'm going to show you how to put on another cosmetic just for fun. Never mind, guys. I lied. So, the, another link in the description is the Gorilla Faces. Um, and here you have a bunch of faces you can choose from. I don't know if, if you can just take a face off Google and do that, but I just recommend doing it here. Maybe if you feel like trying it, then go ahead and do that. Maybe if you can just find a face off Google. But I've just been, I've been using just these. So, what you're gonna want to do? I'm just gonna find any face. I'm just gonna look at this silly face. Um. Oh, is there another one? Oh, there's another one sticking out the tongue. I'll just do this one. I like this one. There we go. So I'm gonna you're gonna download it same way. But this one's a little bit different. So before you get carried ahead, this is do again. Please don't skip ahead because like. It's a lot to handle, so. So, for this part, instead of file, you're going to go to shading. So, click on shading, and this is, and then you got to highlight your monkey. Hi not highlight this. Highlight your monkey so that your fur is highlighted. And I recommend you just move this. And then open up your file explorer. And, um, okay, good. Didn't open up on my second monitor. So, uh. Which one is this? Oh, that just leaked the thumbnail. Whatever. Okay, there we go. We got the picture. You're going to want to just drag it in. So not this part. You're going to want to just drag this part like you normally would into here. And then it's going to go like this. So I recommend you just put it like this. 
and you want to make this for color to face texture so make it color to face texture and then because it hasn't changed yet you got to put face texture all the way up and then you can just drag this back like it was and there you go you have your monkey but now we need one last step you need to actually take the photo so you're gonna to go up here press add and add a camera go to camera press on camera and then you're gonna want to uh and then you're gonna want to see this little it's really hard to see but it's right here you can pull it out press camera click on camera to view make sure that's clicked and um there we go you can just drag that back and then you're going to want to um go to this this little dot called output make sure the camera's highlighted go to this dot called output and then change this to 180 so that you have a square camera and it's not like rectangle like a thumbnail because if you're doing a profile you want it kind of like this even if you're doing a thumbnail you still kind of and then get your camera to how you want it and then just do that um i want it down a little bit so if you want the camera down i believe there is no other way to move your camera so if you want to you got to do it this way so yeah you gotta move it there and there you go you have your image so now i'm going to show you how to export it so you're going to go up here next to file edit you're going to press on render press on render image there is a lot of shortcuts to everything um like for example to get this or it says f12 there's a lot of shortcuts imagine knowing that it back in your mind Okay, now you have your image, which actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, so I, I would add more cosmetics, but again, it's just for it. I got to tell you. Um, then you're going to want to go ahead and export it. So go up to image, save as, and then you just say, I would recommend putting it in your downloads. That's just where I'm going to put it. Um, and then save as, and then it just saved. So let's work on the profile. So for now, you can just X off this. You don't have to save it if you don't want to. All the things that I use will be linked in the description, everything that I use in this video. Uh, now you're gonna wanna go to Photopea, which will also be linked inside of the description. I'm probably gonna have to blur these ads because I am not advertising any of this and I'm pretty sure there's inappropriate ads too. So new project and then you, YouTube profile, I guess if you're making a thumbnail, but this is for how to make a profile. And then you're going to want to go like this, and you're going to want to grab your thing. So, for example, you have your thing. Um, there is a thing in Photopea to blur the background, but if you want better results than that little thing in Photopea, um, this will also be linked in the description, remove background, and then remove the background of your character. So, it's going to remove, I know this isn't any of my cosmetics, but it's just an example. Okay. Now, you're going to want to go here and drag the one you just copied out of your folder. So, like, open up your folder and drag it. To up here not down below or you won't be able to see it so do that and then just actually never mind guys before you do that you gotta actually get a background because if you unless you don't want a background then don't but i recommend search up gorilla tag um uh beach 4k background but you're gonna want to drag it in here wait a second because i'm pretty sure never mind and now, it's good to go. You won't be able to see all of it, but get it to, like, the middle, I guess. Yeah, until that red line goes for the best results. Now, open up your file explorer and drag your actual character into here. Ever since I've been using Blender, guys, everything looks so much better. I actually haven't made... I've made a YouTube thumbnail with it, but that video isn't out yet, so... As of right now, there is nothing related to Blender on my channel. 
I guess if you count this video, so. And another video. But they're both not out yet. But as you're seeing this, yes, it is. Okay, and there you go. You have your Blender profile. But to make it a little bit better, go to down here, press on New Layer. And then go to, um, you're going to want to add Clipping Mask. So right-click it and go to Clipping Mask. It just makes... Because it's still got a long ways away. Okay, and then go to uh, filter above. Sorry, I didn't show you. Go to blur. So filter, blur, and then crash and blur. It didn't pop up. And then change the radius to like when you like it. So I think that looks good. That looks good. And there you go. All you got to do after to import, export it, go to file, export as. Um, I recommend JPG, but it's really up to you. And then go to your files and click on your, it's going to be called new plot project. It, it's going to be blender puts it on title and then this puts it new plot project. Like if you just don't name it, which I don't even care. Why would you need to name it? Um, now you officially have your blender profile picture so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video if you like this tutorial if you want to see more tutorials let me know and i'll see you guys all later peace